Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be shooting the next few videos as part of a series. And the series is going to be entirely about downscaling. So what is downscaling? Why does anybody want to do it? Is it right for you? Well, firstly, downscaling is taking a resolution and lowering it to another resolution. In this video, I'll be taking a 480p signal resolution and downscaling it to 480i slash 240p. And I say 240p because that's the desired resolution you'd like to downscale to, but the device I'm going to be showing today only downscales to 480i. I feel Downscaling is just purely aesthetic. Since I have a BVM that shows some of the best scan lines I've ever seen, I'd like to take full advantage of that. And now that we have all of these new consoles that have all of these retro games, I figure putting a new console into a BVM showing old video games would be nice if they had scan lines like they used to. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Extron VSC 700. This device takes a 480p signal and I believe other signals, but for today's video, we're going to be specifically talking about 480p going downscaling to 480i. And the reason I have the Extron RGB 203 RXI, it's a little important. And going forward, I will be using it for the other devices I'll be talking about. And you'll see why. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to be showing is my PS3 at 480p. After initializing is done, I could press the sync button. There you go. Okay. So here's my PS3 on 480p. And by the way, I didn't explain this, but my PS3 is outputting SCART at the moment. And it's running into the G-SCART switch and going out into my BBM. And today, I'm going to be just playing Revenge of Shinobi. Okay, so this is going to be all in one shot. In other words, I'm not going to be turning the game off, it's just going to be on and I'm just going to switch out one connection to the other. So at the moment this is 480p and let me just get in here and show what it looks like. So as you can see the image looks really crisp, you know, this is 480p once again, looks really nice. Unfortunately though, there aren't a lot of blanking lines in between the scan lines, so you see the image once again, it's very full. See it? Okay. Now, what I'll do is, I'll switch this 
off. Xtron VSC700 doing its thing. This right here, just in case you missed it, is on 40i. So let me get in here for a sec. I don't know if you could tell, but the image is shaking a lot due to the interlaced image or the signal. So what the VSC700 does, and I'll show you, is change it so it can ask, uh, have filters on it. So let's see. So the filters, if you apply any, the flicker, that would lower the flicker as most as it can. And once again, you turn this up all the way, and the encoder is already set at three. And there you go. So now, uh, now let's see how it looks. The image, as far as I could see, has stopped shaking. Not to the fullest extent, but it's way less than before. So here, this is where I'm gonna talk about where the RGB 203 RXI comes into play. If you could see the top and bottom of, um, I guess, the, uh, the character here, um, you notice that it looks a little blurry. So what this does is, if you have it shift up one from the centering, now you'll get a little bit of a clearer image. See, if you noticed before, there was a little bit of blurring on the top and bottom, but now it looks really crisp. And as far as the scan line and blanking lines go, um, they're slightly there. So this is um, this is the closest you're gonna get with this method to produce scan lines. One problem I have, if you could see, is the image on top and bottom and on the sides, they're not full. So right here, there's still a little bit of an image left, and then down here as well. So it's definitely boxed in. Now, you could switch, you could mess around with the centering and um, the levels with those knobs. But, unfortunately, I couldn't get, like, a full image. So, uh, I'm not really going to show it because it's going to look very bad. But, this is probably the best centered image you're going to get with this combination as well. So. Let's turn this off. So, my thoughts on all of this, it is not my preferred method of downscaling. It's definitely the more inexpensive way to do it. It's also more readily available. I believe the Xtron VSC 700, and this can also work with the 500 as well. I believe they go for about, don't take my full word for it, but I believe it's around a hundred dollars if I'm not mistaken. Um, once again, if you, if you're looking to do a downscaling option, uh, this is fine, but there are definitely other alternative methods to, uh, downscale and they're actually better. And if you watch my next few videos of the series, you'll definitely see what I'm talking about. All right.
Until next time.